Hello guys, how are you? I hope you're okay. This is my favorite time with DSA. So I'm sharing that with you. I hope you enjoy it. This is our chilling time where we ask questions and we all fellowship. So there are a few people here with DSA. So I'm just going to turn the camera around. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. There. Hi. Hello. Hello. So, so who's there with me? Who's there with us? Not me. You are not greeting anybody. Yeah, I'm seeing. Yeah, there's no one there, but it takes time. Hello, 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 hello. So that they're not just greeting the air. Yes. Hello. Hello. I have in mind when people start so watching the video. Are you booking the Hello, hello, hello. 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 Yep. Hi, who's there? Hello. Say hello. Uh, Say hello. hello. This is my favorite time with DSA, and I'm sharing it with you. Um, where? All sitting here. One of the characters of a personality. Okay. And I was curious about that. So who's there? Who's joining? Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> so, is anyone there? We're going to ask questions and DSA would answer. And this is really, really one of the best times to soak in his knowledge, his wisdom, his experiences. So, it would be good if you would join us right now and invite people. So, please, why don't you share? Share, share, share. Why don't you share this? It would be great if you could share. Yes, share. Please share. Share, share, share. <laughs> okay. Hi, Ebu Cham Uche. Hello. I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce your name properly. Ebu Cham Lam. How are you? I hope you're okay. Can you please share this video? Share this uh, live video. We're going to have a good time. This is our fellowship in time. I with DSA. So, Adewale, how are you? How are you doing? Please share this video. Share it right now so that we can have more people join us. This is what we're doing now is um, our chilling, uh, not just chilling, our fellowship in time with DSA. We're going to ask questions, random questions from people that are in the house and DSA would answer in his usual a very, very detailed way of sharing his thoughts, his wisdom with us. I love this time. I love these sessions, and I don't like to miss it. That's one of the reasons why I come to the VIP at all. So I hope you join us, and you would enjoy it. You surely will. I promise you, share this video so that more people will come. And if you have questions, you can also send your questions, and we would answer, and he would answer it, hopefully. He usually tries to answer all the questions. He would try in detail, like in a way that you would not believe. Efren, how are you? How are you doing? I hope you're okay. Guys, I hope also I, I made a call for action earlier today, about a couple of hours ago, actually, regarding one of our DSA family and sister, Justin Mayo. Um, the details were put in the previous video, but I would put it in this video as well. Can, is, if anyone is in Berlin, please, 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 can you contact her? Um, I would ask her number to be put up again. So if anyone is in Berlin, please, 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 please contact her. We need you. We need your help. We need somebody to go to her immediately. So, guys, if you would share this, the more people that come, the better. And then we can get on. Okay. Efren, how are you? What do you people want to drink? Hot or cold? Hot. 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 Everybody wants hot. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, my friend. Who else is here? I can't see your names. Adewale, how are you? How are you? Hi, hi, hi. Okay. So, should we get started, sir? Question from... Yeah. Okay. So, guys, like I said earlier... The groups. Yes. Hi, guys. We're now fellowshipping with Dr. Sunday Adelaja, but this is in style. It's not your usual fellowship, as you know it. So, we sit down and ask questions... And Dr. Sunday, in his um, exceptional style, he would answer in detail. So just chill, sit it's down. Exceptional style. Yes. Yes, sir, it is what makes my, it exceptional. Because you answer every, in detail. That's just the way I think that the world is supposed to be lived and everything is supposed to be done. Mm. If there's anything ever going to be done, it must be done to the best of your knowledge and to the best of your efforts. Mm. Mm. Most mm. people don't have that knowledge. Yeah. What, what is strange no. about people it? People have. <laughs> so, guys, did you hear that? I just said exceptional style, and he's saying that that's not a big deal. It is a big deal in my world until I got here. So it is exceptional because even though we all know that you should do everything to the best of your ability, but do we do that? Do you? Do you? Mm -mm, I don't, until I got here. So, um, to me, it is exceptional. So, and Julie concurred, right? Hi, right, Julie. Thank, Thank you. Mm -hmm. And Anastasia also concurred. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And Caroline is minding her business right there. She's <laughs> <laughs> got episode. So, guys, we're going to get started now. Please share this. So, Dr. Sunday, we answer our questions. We ask um, questions that of things that we're puzzled about or we need more clarification, and he gives us 100% clarification. So, we thought rather than keep it to ourselves, we can share it with you. Mm -hmm. Oh, Madam Julie, thank you. <laughs> so, we can share that with you. <laughs> so, um, join us, invite people. Share this, because the more people, the better. And you know my ethos, the more people have understanding like this, the better our world, because that means we will deal with people with knowledge, with wisdom, and we would not be frustrated. So yippee, let's share. Go on. Lizzie, Fred, how are you? So you, oh. you managed to, to find uh, the crayons. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. Gracious. Okay. <laughs> So, so now you have how to are you? How is your day? What did you do today? That's the way you do it. Okay. So those ones I saw on your page, they were okay. done like that. Those ones were just the photographs. That's it. And you took photographs of your work? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I thought you did them on the computer. No. It's all hand done. See what she's doing. Show them what she's doing. Black. Okay. No this is Queen Anastasia, as you know. She's the beautiful artist. Let me show you creation. Hold well, on. What gives you ideas? So why do you Can do I? the next thing to draw? Sorry. No, you have to show her. Doing it. Yeah, I'm showing her, but they can't How see it because it's on the lap. Because you brought a stand. I just Just start from somewhere? Yeah. Well, you've got to Hold on, guys. Go, you know, I'm going to show you now. No, no, it's good because that's you are not waiting for inspiration to come before you. Mm -hmm. You just start and mm -hmm. it comes mm -hmm. in the process. That's the best way to do it. Yeah. This is Queen which Anastasia's means can, art. Which means you can always produce that way. She just mm -hmm. sits. But and you don't always sign. Do a magic. Do you always sign? Uh, yeah, I sign it at the side. It's yeah. quite small. Okay. It's very small. Yeah, discreetly. Yeah. Because when you are gone, so that your work will keep on living forever. Yeah, I need to sign it. Hi, Samuel. Yeah. Ifoma, how are you? Thank you for joining. Can you join? As you're joining, can you please share? Hello, family. Hello, my host. What's wrong with our camera? Now. I don't that, know. Now that we mention it, I should not do it. What are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. I should ask it. Another that great. I think this camera is having it, but it's better now, right, Ifoma? Yes. Okay. 
Let me see. Yeah. <sighs> okay, Julie. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my question, my question is, um, do you have any criteria or conditions of how long someone can stay here? And um, who are you asking? Though? You, Pastor Sunday. I'm asking okay. him. That's what I did know. Yes, yes. So uh, my question is, um, my question to my question to Pastor Sunday is that I would like to know. Exactly if there's like any that. criteria, um, okay, so if there are any criteria of how long people could stay here, and if they possibly have to bring about some results before they leave, or if people can just come in and stay as long as they want, and also um, based on that, how do you know the heart of the people that come and stay here with you, and um, yeah, especially if they're not around you all the time. Yeah, that is one of the challenges. Let me start from the last one you asked, knowing the hearts of the people. That's probably one of the greatest challenges I have because I don't like to control people. And I don't, uh, I just like to trust people. So because I like to trust people and not control people, I, I've discovered that, and I try to think the best of people. The best of people to me is that everybody desires the best, everybody desires the same that I desire, as I desire. But my experience has shown me that not everybody desires the same as I desire. That people have different plans and different ideas in their mind. So, uh, I, do I know what people are thinking? No idea, I don't know. Uh, especially if they are not with me most of the time. Yeah, I've discovered that uh, some people are even living here in my house for like uh, a year or two years and they never come to see me. And they never even come to the general meeting like this where we have a fellowship. So which means they don't have hunger, they don't have desperation, they don't even wash past a Sunday life and they're living in my house. So uh, access Therefore, it's not just a blessing and an opportunity. Access to people, to someone, um, an opportunity, sometimes it's a blessing, but sometimes it's a challenge, it's a test. So, f f uh, because familiarity breeds content. So, so why still do I do it if people are doing it? Because what matters is, it's not, uh, you, you, uh, check Tini, you need to go there again because your voice, something is coming from you. <laughs> we are there in the air. So where did I stop? But yeah, what matters it really is not, um, what people do, I shouldn't use what people do to be the parameter or criteria for my behavior. Uh, the basics and the fundamentals of my behavior should be uh, my values. And uh, my value system and my worldview, my philosophy of life. So, uh, so when I do something, I'm doing it because I, I see that this is in line with my belief system. So I build a, build a house that allows people to come and stay here, either f for free or if they can pay for the place they're staying for paying. But anyhow, but at least to give everybody the opportunity. But I really hope I'm doing that in great faith. And my hope is that people will be hungry enough People will be desperate enough to learn, to want to change, to want to improve, to want to make the world a better place, and to want to take something and for themselves, take something for their future to help them become better. And so that's my hope. That's my expectation. 
that everybody that comes here will not just solve their uh, mediocre problems, but that they will solve, they will try to solve God's problem. And they will be here to learn how to do that. Unfortunately, it's not always like that. So, um, if I have the opportunity to review, and sometimes we do that, not me do that, but people in charge of the house, they do review people who are living here. And they see that if you are living here, and you're just living, and you're not growing, you're not doing anything, you're just living your own life, they will propose you to, after you have stayed for some time, you have the opportunity to stay. But if you are not making the best use of it, they will propose for you to leave. Because there are other people that could stay in the same place and they don't have the opportunity just because you are staying here. And if there are other people who could take a better, uh, take, could take advantage of what they have and come and stay here and uh, take, you know, you know, make good use of it, it's better for them to come and stay. So like after one year or so, people are, well, the house is reviewed, they see who is living here, what they are doing. And if they are not changing, there are no fruits from their lives, then they could tell them to leave. But there was, that is, I started from the latter part of your question. But there is the first part of it that I, I can't remember. Now. Can you repeat the whole thing again? Totam, Tony Botam? Yes, um, the first question was... Um, what me think should be bullshit about me? What, if there are any conditions, we partly also responded to it, but if there are any conditions... Uh, let, let it start again. Let us ask the whole question, uh, the whole thing. Yeah, so initially was to Pastor Sunday was if there are any conditions on how long someone can stay here and if he has any expectations of okay, the people. Do you want to start like that? How long can someone stay here? Yes. Okay. Yes. We'll be taking it by bit. Okay. So how long, how long can someone stay here in my house? As long as the person wants. As long as anybody is hungry, as long as everybody, any, that person is desperate, he can stay and as long as the person is growing. Um, how do you know if someone is growing? Do you, do you have any measurement to The life of assess? the person will show fruits. If you are growing, you are definitely going to be having some fruits, some results. You are going to be doing something with your life. Like for example, you used to there used to be a lady that you all know that used to live here. Maybe she's watching us right now. Tatiana. Mm -hmm. She was living here for some time. Mm -hmm. And she's no more here. Did you people notice? Yeah, yeah. That's one of the way that's one of the reasons because it was revealed and maybe she's not having enough results. But there are some other people who are still living here but they have more results. And um, the second question was, are there any conditions on what people you choose to stay here? The greatest, the greatest um, condition is desire of the person. The second greatest uh, requirement is uh, the need, if there is a real need for the person. Maybe there is no other place. Maybe the person doesn't have money, or maybe. Then the next other question, or one another important criteria is people who are helping in the ministry. So let's say you are helping do anything. Uh, if you are helping do anything, yeah, you can stay here because, and people are in the team. People are in the family who are in the team who live the life of, that we are living. Anyone else? Any questions? Uh, anyone to, you want to add to that? Hello guys, how are so you? You have to know the philosophy behind the house. Yes. Yeah, I already explained that somewhere else. Yes, yes. Hello guys, how are you? Um, we are with Dr. Sunday asking him questions. So we ask questions in our heart and he'll give us full answers. One of the things that you, maybe when you finish that, one of the things that you have to do is, because the 
people will not know about the background for that question. Mm -hmm. So you've got you you people have to do that. You've got to describe how it looks like because they they are not here. Mm -hmm. They don't you know they don't see all the movements and the yells how it looks. So you put it to describe what is the atmosphere. Then the question we have answer will make sense. Okay. Do you want to start, Jimmy? You start. Hi guys. Um, it's a good point Dr. Just, Sunday just made where he said that you guys might not know the basis for the question that Julie just asked about um, the basis or the conditions or um, the criteria for people to stay in this house. Um, as you know, I'm in this house. I came from London. And I think this uh, question came from Julie. I'm, I'm not quite sure um, the reason. I'm not in her head. But the reason for me was uh, recently after the HMT, we had um, uh, s someone who really wants to stay. Not That's the reason, but I'm saying, first of all, just be a general picture okay. of what is Pastor Sunday's house. Or someone uh, who has never been here. Okay. Just based on the foundation of the response. All right. Okay, the general uh, condition of this house, no, not condition, but the general atmosphere. picture, yeah, the atmosphere of this house is, um, it's a very large house. It's got two buildings with like um, four stories. So um, uh, there's several rooms in this house. I don't personally know how many rooms are in this house. I live in a room that's got uh, toilet and 60 shower. Rooms. 60 rooms, okay, 60 rooms. Um, I live in a room. So I live in an ensuite room, which is shower and toilet. And there's a kitchen, diner area where you sit. And there's also um, like a lecture theater, like a hall where um, most of the HMT takes place. Um, there's garden. Uh, what else? Uh, quite, I, I've showed you guys before, but I can show you again if you want me to. So the general atmosphere is there's an area where Dr. Sunder works, which we call the VIP, and that's the room that we're in right now. And in the VIP area, there's also a kitchen area, and there are rooms as well there, like a VIP room, which is a room for pastors and special guests, and one for a pastor to relax if he's not going up to his apartment with his family. So um, you can just be in your room if you want there's no serve, there's no summon no on control. it no control no summon no, ring, no, no 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 bell, no bell. <laughs> there's a set time to eat breakfast lunch and dinner you can just come out of your room and just go into the diner and have your food you'll be served um if you need anything like if i need like toiletries and things like that i call to the house manager and she have it sent to me there's a laundry room which is downstairs, we do laundries on weekends, so we have a set time for that. But in terms of um, your requirements for view, there is no requirement at all. You know, you're free to do whatever you want. You know, I go in and out, as you know, I go to the orthodox, um, periodontist um, weekly since I've got here. So um, I just leave, I take a taxi and I go, I come back. Um, sometimes, you know, um, I, I will, I, sometimes I will tell Dr. Sunday, sometimes I don't, and even when I tell him, it's just like, okay, fine. You know, I just do that out of courtesy, but people go in and out. Personally, myself, I don't know how many people live in this house, but I see a lot of people in and out. I say hello to them, you know. No, I mean, okay, approximately, I see, I see probably around 20 people that I see that I don't know. So in and out, in and out. So I see them randomly. But the number of people that Everybody, actually... People are watching us and they're hearing 20 people in the house living there every yeah, day in the house. Yeah. They, yeah. Just, they just are scary to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I think they're more than 20 because... Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Of course, they're more than 20 people. But yeah, 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 to describe it. How it is to her. What, yeah. What, uh, uh, let me do my finish you, you right. Yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, yeah. several and people come in and out. <laughs> and then also there's several workers here as well. There's security. Um, you know, several people that work as well. So apart from those people that work here, there are 20 other people that I see in and out. Um, sometimes their family. 
and sometimes it's just like single person. And then I would ask them, you know, because they speak Russian, if they speak English, where do you live? Where is your room? They'll tell me, oh, the room is upstairs, or they live in this area, or what area, but in this house. So, um, but saying that as well, the only maybe so about. It's because the impression is that if you have 20 people in one house, they're probably on each other's head. No, 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 no. No. no, 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 I, I just see them, I mean, <laughs> okay, um, this house is, is large enough that people can be in this house and you wouldn't even know that they're in this, in the house. So, um, so you're not on each other's head? No, 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 even, no, no. you repeat that. Okay. No, no, we're not on each other's head or maybe we even, I, I see people maybe, um, when they come for dinner, that's when I see them, or staircase, there's no other way of or if they come to the VIP but majority of people don't come to the VIP only people that work with DSA or people that choose to come and for some reason I don't know personally because I come to the VIP every day even if he's not here I'm waiting for him and I'm asking when he's coming down but the other people that I see in this house that they don't come here I don't know maybe it's because they've been here for a long time they're tired of <laughs> coming and seeing him I don't know that could possibly be the reason I don't know but um I I come well, here can. yeah anyone is free to come you don't need to book appointments or anything if he's downstairs he will tell you and also he will tell you if there are people that want to come you can send um send them a message to say that he's going to be downstairs so if they want to come they can come you know but I always if I don't see him I would ask because you know I'm I'm just not here to come and chill I could just chill at home if I in London if I wanted to so, um, but there are several people here, and they are new people as well all the time uh, that I meet, and I talk to them. I, I, I really need to learn Russia because I can't have, like, uh, a long conversation. It's just very shallow, basic conversation. But we're not stepping on each other's toes or anything. You know, no, no one comes to my room. They don't knock on my room. They don't ask me, you know, when are you going to bed when you come in home or anything like that I can go out and come in as I please but at the moment I don't have that desire personally and I just come here and come to the VIP I go and have my I have three square meals believe me I don't have three square meals <laughs> in in UK it's just something that I don't do but I do that here <laughs> yeah well Good thing, I think it's because the food here is healthy, and I also discovered that they don't eat for pleasure, which I eat for pleasure here. <laughs> they eat because, you know, to survive. Um, but so they give us very healthy food. We have, like, um, okay, let me but tell you, you say, this. If you say they eat to survive, people would think it's Afghanistan. It's no, no, it's not like that. You know, food is not for pleasure. They always serve us bread, you know, no, so. No, food is not for pleasure. You've got to explain that. Okay. That is not because there is no food. Mm. Or there is, like Nigeria, for example, there is no, you know, you've got to rationalize. Ras no, 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 no. It's not you a ration. Not, you've got to explain that. No, no, it's not in ration. They give you good meals, healthy meals, and um, the basis for eating is that you need so to have... So there is no food. No, there is no food. There is food, always. We always have at least, um, in, at least we, we will serve bread, and have, okay, for breakfast, we'd have oats, and we might have pancake, we might have oats, pancake, egg, yeah, and food, also, um, you would always have bread. And for some reason, I've been into jam, so I always have bread, jam, oats, everything for breakfast, and then lunch, the same thing, uh, we'll have same rice, no, 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 not oats. It's like, I always, same thing, huh? the same thing in terms of I have bread and jam, <laughs> always. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing at myself. So, <laughs> yes, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I have all three. I mean, I don't think I've actually, okay, I missed once, but that's more than I eat at home usually. I don't have three meals. But um, I, people have been telling me that I'm losing weight, although somebody so told me. Yes, I think I am losing the weight because um, I'm eating healthy. And also, I'm not having chocolate. I'm not having. You used to have that a lot. Yes, I'm not having a lot of soda. Um, you know, like just eating. I I eat whatever I want normally, but I eat what I'm, <laughs> here. I've kind of disciplined myself to eat what I'm served, and maybe a little bit of luxury there and there. 
but I, I'm served healthy not like food. In no, not in London. Like in London, I could wake up anytime and then decide, oh, I want to go to Nando's or I want to go and eat this, and I'll just go out and eat. Yes, yes. Junk food. So um, th that's my snippet. There are other people here. I could go on, as you guys know, you know, I could go on and on about everything that happens. So let me give somebody so else a chance. So people just need to have a picture of what it looks like. Yeah. Then the question, the, uh, people, then we answer the questions sure. by yeah. which, what are the criteria, then it makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think Mayowa already painted the picture really well on what you, how you can actually imagine it to be here. The other thing is um, the reason why. Well, the problem is they won't paint the picture so people from the gate or from outside, from just general picture, so that mm. they show it, you know, because that's what people are thinking of here. Okay. Yeah, so, so the place is really huge. It's really, really big. Um, and it is um, separated from the outside world. Uh, by a big white uh, fence or no gate actually and um, yeah that's how you basically get in and then there's like the um, what's it called like the court the courtyard and you can see all the two buildings two courtyards yeah and it actually has two gates it has one gate at the front and on the side there's also a sideway where you can get to the house and there's also a big gate that um, opens up the way to the house. And then um, the, the two buildings are separated by, I don't know how long is that, three, five meters or so. So there's like a little place where you can, you can walk or there's also um, a car baseball, park. sorry? Car park. Yeah, there's a car park and um, a place where people can walk and just get fresh air. And then there's also a backyard garden um, and I think they're also planting stuff there. I'm not really sure, but I I have to double check. And um, yeah, what else? There are balconies everywhere outside, um, and it's very colorful as well. The walls well, I outside. Saw some of the pictures you took, and I think some of those are going to be some of your best pictures. I just yeah, yeah. I said, I, wow, because you have so much faith around <laughs> you. Uh, yes. I can't wait for all those pictures come out. Yeah, I'm preparing <laughs> them. Actually, there's the place really is very beautiful in the inside. And you have so much space and with the colorful walls, you you can take really nice pictures. And so I availed of that of that opportunity and did, took some pictures for my own blog. And yeah, you'll see a couple. I'm going to post them in the com upcoming weeks. Where mm. are they going? Where are you posting them? My blog. I'm posting them on my blog on charislog.com, and yeah, mm -hmm. I can post the link as well in the comments. But it's really, really beautiful. It's very peaceful as well. You don't really hear a lot of noise. Um, there are a lot of um, dogs. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes you hear dogs barking, um, and the cats, <laughs> which can. Yeah, the cats like make these weird noises. Um, at night sometimes and the hens, and the hens yes the hens they wake you up in the morning <laughs> and um, yeah that's really Not cool the hens, uh, the crow. The crow. Are they oh really the hens the hens are the mother <laughs> okay. it is the men. mother yeah, the crow how are they called yeah. crow 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 okay crow. crows crow. 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 Okay, so there are a couple of crows that wake you up in the morning in case you sleep in. Well, no, they are not in my, they tell them they are No, no, they are not here. They are not the in the house. All the cats and dogs are not in the house. <laughs> they are not here, here. No, but no, they are in the surrounding. They, they don't belong to us. Yeah, they don't belong here, but they are in the surrounding area. So Neighbors. In the neighbors, neighbors. yeah, in the neighbors' places. Um, so you see them sometimes running around. They dogs and barking. No, no, yeah. Dogs. yeah, you see them outside. If you go out of outside of the gate, you see dogs sometimes. And you see um, cats and, and cats as well. Yeah. Cats and these things, yeah. Yeah, they run around here sometimes. Yeah, and um, what else? I think I mentioned everything. Yeah, so you have you have the people who come here and stay, and everyone is, has their own world. So that's one of the reasons why I came up with this question, because I was wondering why people are not around Pastor Sunday all the time, because that's what I was expecting because I come obviously from my own perspective and what I have found 
the treasure that I have found, I just can't. Play with it. Yeah, I can't play with it. I I really take it seriously because it has really set me free from you know the the world and the the bondage of Uncle Sam in a sense. But and if you, want, you didn't ask me why is it that people are not allowed to pass Sunday all the time, and that is the, you, if you ask that question, then I will answer that question. Ah, okay. You didn't ask that question. Okay. Yet. So you finish your discussion. <laughs> Then okay. You can ask that. Right now. I'll ask you later. On. Okay. Yeah. So because I was actually wondering why people are not around Pastor Sunday all the time because I just can't understand yeah. how you can be. be deprived of such opportunities, especially if you're living here. So, you know, we pay all the money. We pay thousands of I'm euros and dollars that. and take uh, all our vacation from work to come here just to stay here around him and. <laughs> gain knowledge and learn and receive all of his wisdom and direction for our lives yeah, and sure, you know sure. answers to questions that nobody else can um, give you yeah. and we give all that sacrifice and then I compare it with all the people who you know some people who live here and who are not around him all the time so that just bothers me and I don't understand it just makes me I don't know I, I can't it it somehow makes me mad because there are people who could, you know, stay here, who would do so much, who would do, give their lives or whatever to come here. And then there are some people who are and who don't avail of this opportunity. And I'm just wondering, what are they doing, you know? Um, so, yeah, that was the reason why I asked that question. Um, yeah. So how many people do you see around here in the house everywhere? Um, the amount of people I see in the house... I think they are, they are around. On everybody's, everybody's on their, on their head. <laughs> no, no, they 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 somehow appear for some reason, and then they disappear again. I would never notice that there are so many people if I wasn't in the kitchen sometimes, and I would see different people coming in when there's dinner time or lunch time, and I wonder, oh, you you also here? Oh, you also here? Like there are some people that I saw in the church um, that I wouldn't have expected would live here and. I don't know. There's so many, and sometimes I was actually there was actually one day where we went out, and I was afraid because I saw a person that I didn't know, and um, I was wondering if this was like um, what's it called, like an an, an invalid intruder. or intruder, yeah, and um, I was I was scared um, of the fact that he would do something in the house, or whatever, and I asked I don't know who I asked, I think I asked. Um, Pastor Alex, and he said, no, 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 that's fine. Um, he's one of the security guys or something. So there are a lot of people. Yeah, and the taxi thing as well. We went out, and there was a taxi waiting outside, but I didn't know, and the gate was closing, and we were already leaving. And um, I asked our driver if he knew the person because he, he got out of the car only when we were not inside anymore. So I started to get anxious a little bit and asking oh maybe this is someone you know a dangerous person or whatever and then he called the house and they said no it's a taxi person and he was going to pick up someone so because you don't know the people who live here because it's just so yeah it, it's there's a lot of vi variety in the people who live here so yeah so what's the impression you are getting what's coming to this place for people who are outside the impression that I have is it's a very it's a very peaceful place. That's the most the, the, the greatest thing that shines out, that stands out for me. You have a lot of freedom and you have a lot of acceptance. You know, people come here and they just feel at home. Everyone here, it looks like they feel at home and they are at home and this is how they behave. And um it's just, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a homey place. It's not the home place where you feel, oh, it has to look a certain way for you to say that it's home. It's the atmosphere that's very um, different from what I know as home. Um, and that's why I think everyone here feels, feels they all feel, feel like them, they're the, they can be themselves, and that's how they behave, too. So... Thanks, Julie. Hi, guys. Can you please share? Share, share, share. Thank you for joining. Let's see. Okay. 
we have Anastasia. <laughs> yeah, guys. Pastor Sandy's house. I want to liken it like um, Daddy. I want to liken it like Daddy God, and like heaven. Devon, heaven. And it's like this expanseless, expanseless, huge, massive place. And when you come through the gates. Expanseless or expansive? It, ex, well, thank you. Ex less. Expansive? Less. Expansive? No. no. Really? Okay, okay, expansive, expansive. sorry. Expansive, sorry. Place. Limitless. Limitless place. <laughs> and uh, there are. Two huge gates. I'm unlikely likening it to the gates of heaven. And you, you come into this place, the first thing that encounters you is a place of peace, love, warmth, acceptance, belonging. It's 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 in the atmosphere. As soon as you come here. And I remember when I came in January, I said to um, uh, Dr. Sunday, because I had a one-to-one -one meeting with him, and I said to him, I feel like I've come home. And uh, most of my Christian life, I felt like something was missing. I think I almost felt like somebody who was wandering, even though I was a Christian. But as soon as I came here in January, I just knew it, that I was home. And I told him that, and he said, because you've entered the kingdom, so really and truly, here is an image, a reflection of heaven here on earth. That's what it is. <laughs> and it feels like, um, it feels like, um, like uh, Dr. Sunny is this big daddy. He's this big daddy, and there's this, this big home, and you just come home, and you're at home, and there's freedom here. Yes, there, there are tasks to achieve and things to do, but still there's a sense of purpose. So if you look at it, everybody is doing something. I mean, I'm doing my art here. Uh, Temi is doing something different. Uh, <laughs> everybody's got a laptop. Everybody's got a laptop. They're doing... On divide. Yeah, so they're achieving their own personal uh, purpose, but but there's an overall... There's an overarching... Hold on, there's an overall sense of uh, oneness here purposeful. and purposeful that you know, uh, Dr. Sandy has, um, he's been meeting with us to review his book and even though he'll be reviewing the books, we're still doing our own thing but we're still hearing, so it's like, um, so you're sitting here doing your work and the word of God is being read all the time I'm thinking, oh my gosh, this is so, this is such a privilege to hear the word of God being read and actually it's just it's, it's just priceless. Um, for me, that I've come from um, a broken home, not grown up with a, you know, not had, not have a family. I think, I don't know about the others, but I experience it more. This is like big daddy, not the big daddy in the world though. You know, it's like big daddy, big daddy. And you just feel, you just feel at home. Everything is done with purpose and yeah, you just, that's it really. <laughs> yeah. It's just peace, 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 peace. Yesterday, or the day before, we did with Maiwa, so much joy. Yeah, we were dancing, dancing here. Yeah. Joy, joy, joy. <laughs> joy, joy, joy. And really, there's so much joy here, so much peace, so much love. Uh, Pastor Sandy is very understanding, very accommodating. Um, like, you, you know, we're doing a question and answer here. He's just like a big, he's just daddy. That's how I see him. And um, I'm really privileged to be here. In fact, I'm wishing I had extended my stay a bit longer because I don't really want to go. I'm leaving on Sunday. I wish I'd made it longer, but anyway. So yeah, that's my bit about living in this house. Thank you. Who else wants to share? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's just talking about how the house is. The experience here. Yeah, I've been here since um, Decem late December. 
And um, when I came, before I came, I was on the phone with Pastor, and I was like, so what am I going to be doing here? <laughs> because I don't just go places and not have something to do. And I didn't, nobody could answer my question until I talked to Pastor. And uh, he said basically that I would be training myself. I'd be, first of all, he said, I, not many times do you get a chance to be around a person who has accomplished as much as he has. And it's true that most of the people who I look up to have had a mentor that had um, qualities or who had accomplished something that they hadn't accomplished. And so for me, that was probably one of the most important things he said. Now, the second thing he said is that you have a third of, a third of your time will be working with me, a third of your time will be working with the team, but he said a third of your time will be your own time. And I said, eh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like that. Mm -hmm. I said, eh -huh. <laughs> okay, because for me, you know, if I'm going to transfer myself from my own busy life to another different life, I still need, I need to have, like what I didn't have in Los Angeles was time. I didn't have space. And I think that's, I keep saying it, but that's one of the biggest things that I'm very appreciative to here in Pastor's house is that he, he's not a micromanager. He doesn't ask you every second, what are you doing? You know, you have to push yourself. And so when you have time, you know, even if it's a third of your day, to really think about what is it that I want to accomplish? What is the things that God has put in my heart that I've just been ignoring the whole, like, last five, ten years of my life? What are the steps now that I need to start taking? You know, and the funny thing is that part of that third of your time you could be here listening to a book and get an idea for something that you've been thinking about for several years, you know, just because you heard one sentence in one of his books, you know, just by hearing him edit. So that's probably the two things that I really like. Also, the thing about being in Pastor's house, as opposed to reading his books or watching him on, um, on his uh, live broadcast, is the fact that there are things that Pastor will tell you that you will not understand fully until you watch him. So here you get to watch Pastor, you know, so he might not tell you every, you know, I have a video that just came out and I was talking about taking advice, but I was saying that sometimes people will give you great advice and they have the results to back it up, but they may have given you three points and really there's 16 points that are, unutter that are unutterable. So though, that rest of the 13 points that you didn't get come from watching, comes from observing, comes from asking questions and Pastor is always available. That's another thing that's great about being in the house is that he's always available to yeah, ask questions. You can watch how he works with his team. You can ask him questions about why he works with this team the way he did. Why did he choose that? Or you can ask yourself questions like, hmm, I wonder why Pastor chose to say that instead of this. Why did he choose to tell this person this? Why did he choose not to tell that person that? Okay, I see. Diplomacy here or a, a firm hand there. You know, you start to put pieces together that you probably could not have fully understood just by hearing him say one sentence on a live broadcast or uh, by reading a sentence in his book. But you watch him and you might be able to learn more. So those are probably the few things that I really enjoyed from being here these last four months. Has anyone got questions for Caroline? Because yeah. I think she's well, got really good. You are all talking about just the physical, because people are not here. They just, you know, they're presenting right now, like the house somewhere. That's how how they use the picture to procure the picture for them. Oh, okay. Well, there's, yeah. a, there's a big white gate that you come in that has gold leaves yeah. on it. You come through, there's a huge driveway. There's a driveway for the car. There's two houses. One's blue, one's yellow. The blue, uh, the blue one Pastor lives in. And then there's many rooms in there. I think there's 60 rooms in the whole house, and the whole two houses. So in the yellow house is where most of his guests come. We have a restaurant. Um, downstairs, that's actually outside of the place where you see for HMT. So, you know, the HMT hall has those pictures and everything, but then you have the kitchen, then you can go upstairs, it has four flights of, uh, I live on the top floor, so I, great, I get great exercise throughout the day. I, I appreciate it. Some people don't appreciate it. I appreciate having exercise, you know, because you, when you're in this house, you're in this house, you know what I'm saying? Like, Unless there's an event come in or something, you're in the house. So you you if you're not a proactive person, you're not gonna you're not gonna like it. You know, <laughs> if you're not a person who can like make every instance worth your while, then you're not gonna be able to handle it. 
But um, yeah, there's like, there's balconies in most of the rooms. There's big windows. There's cool handles that either make it into a door or into like a window. I think that's probably the funnest, the most fun I have is opening the window or opening the door because it's just, you know, that's cool. I've never had that, so. Um, and then there's like three, I think there's three or four cats. <laughs> there are three or four cats that just have enjoyed their this the haven that's here they're just enjoying the bush <laughs> um and yeah they're i don't know what else physically oh there's where pastor works we call it vip that's where we are now vip anytime pastor wants to work with you you just show up here you know because this is usually where pastor is going to work it's also um, it's also where he'll house like people like uh, Pastor uh, Bishop Richard Abaraga or Abraham Gray, like any any kind of special uh, guests like that. They'll usually stay here, and then you can't come here. <laughs> or Pastor will, I think Pastor even has solitude mm -hmm. in here. So you know this is p basically the place of work, importance, focus. Um, again, hmm, what else? <laughs> I don't know. Someone is asking. I see only ladies around Pastor Sunday. I was going to ask you. No men. I was going to tell you. I wanted Caroline to finish before I asked that question. Well, this is it. <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> I'm trying to know. This is my break. This is my personal break. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys have caught me off guard. <laughs> Got him off guard. But is everybody's choice? Is it limited to men or women? Yeah, I was actually going to answer. answer. Answer, yeah. I was going to answer that question that, you know, the person that's asking, why does the gender matter? But even if it does matter, it is our choice to be here. So if men choose to be here, they can be here. But I've had conversation with guys. And um, just like uh, Julie asked that, why are people not here? when they can be here, especially when they're in the house. I think personally, guys, you need to deal with your ego. Mm -hmm. I think because as women, we um, kind of, we're used to kind of, um, I wouldn't say bend, but we're used to, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, to adapt to situation, to adapt to things that we feel that we need. Mm -hmm. And men, for their ego, they, your ego is killing you because there are men in this house but they don't come. And even when they do come, they stay for a few minutes and then they just leave. I watch no, that. No, one, really? Uh, I didn't even see. Alex, oh, yeah, exactly. I don't know if you saw uh, Alex. So there are men in this house. They have the same opportunity as a female, but they choose not to. I don't know if it's because it's another man that they're sitting under, because as women, we, we do that all the time. So it might be that, but I also wonder the same question, but not in the form that you wonder. I've asked my friend, my male friends, why they wouldn't even listen to Dr. Sunday. Because they need his teaching. They need the understanding. They need the knowledge. They need the fatherhood as well. Because they don't have good role models. They don't know what to do. They don't do things right. But they go along with ego and they just, you know, want to kind of dodge life or, you know, just live life by proxy. So, you know, if you're a guy out there and you know that this is you, please, you know, you have an opportunity Come here. You know, you never know. You definitely, I know, but you never know. I know that if you come here, you know, it would never be uh, something negative for you. It would be something to strengthen you, empower you. So I hope that answers your question. Um, it's not a gender, I don't know if it's a gender issue, but if it is, it is by choice. And it's because the men choose to be this way. And the women, we, we are liberators. So, hey, here we are. Yeah, I do my laundry myself. We all do our laundry ourselves, but sometimes we get help. And they help in the form that I would... No, no, there's, there's a laundry room. There's a laundry room that we go to on Friday nights and Saturday nights. That's when you do your laundry. Um, there is someone, there's a staff in the laundry room. So um, you also have all the uh, beddings and... Washing machine. Okay. So in the laundry room, there's washing machine. If people are living in, okay, the Nigerians as well, sorry. <laughs> so we don't wash by hands. No, I don't. So there's a laundry room where I go into the laundry room. There's several washing machines there. 
and you drive, you air dry. So it's a large room and you can air dry in it. Uh, no dryer, but there's a washing machine. So you go in the evening on those two days, Fridays and Saturday nights, and you put your washing in. I'm very lazy with um, those kind of things, domestic things. So what I do is when I leave, I, sometimes I leave it and somebody will take it out for me and air my laundry. And then when I remember, I'll go downstairs and I'll, I'll pick them up. So that's why I said um, you, I, I sometimes get help with it. Um, thank you, Victoria, if you're watching. Thank you so much for taking my laundry for me. So, um, so that's what happens with laundry. So what else would you like to do? Let me read some of the comments. William says, Pastor Sunday, teaching is life-changing. Yes, thank you, William. That's definitely true. Hello, Chinwei. How are you? Um, me soon. Frank says, me soon. I will join. Oh, Frank is saying that he, he's going to carry his bag and come over to stay soon. Uh, he just left, uh, Frank, so this is your home. If I had an opportunity, I would always be there. That's William. And, and success has led to. Yes, yes, and success. Uh, oh, yeah. We had a few people here. As you know, we had HMT recently. Well, last week, we just finished, and we had a few men here. Stayed well, back. Yes, they stayed back. Uh, a couple of the guys uh, just left. So one of the guys that's just writing a comment here, which is Frank, saying that he's going to carry his bag and come and leave. He was here for several days, and he stayed over even after the HMT, and then success just left. Um, who else out of the guys just left. So we had a few guys here that just left and they're always welcome. They come in as they please. We also had Pastor Solomon that was here. He left um, shortly after the HMT. There's a... Oh yeah, and we still have Pastor Joseph. Do you all remember Pastor Joseph? Shall I remind you, Pastor Joseph is, excuse me, excuse me? Yeah, that we had it. He's still here actually and it's lovely to have him uh, here with us. And Jefferson. Hi, Jefferson. Are you there? Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. So, um, uh, we, you have, you have Joshua somewhere, right? Yes, we have Pastor Joshua, who is part of the furniture, but I don't see him. <laughs> he he I only see him. He comes down when Pastor is requesting him to come down, and he reads, or, you know, he goes through um, something to do with books with Pastor. So, you all know Pastor Joshua. He did a review in the early days. So he would do the review. The tall guy. Yeah. So let me read some more comments. Men want to explore around the place there. Hmm, I don't know what you mean, but okay. Ayodele, thank you. And then, hey, Pastor Nikki, how are you? Uh, Maiwa, please ask DSA if one can come for solitude in, in the house. Chinwei, you know this house. You've been here before. You're mm -hmm. welcome, Chinwei. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can come for solitude whenever you please. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have another question here. Am I, what's the criteria to come over for a retreat? My come over during summer. Yes, um, you just need to write to guest at God Embassy dot org so i repeat guest at god embassy dot org just give us the time and the date that you want to come how long you want to stay for and then we will let you know but usually there is space available you're always welcome just tell us what you want to do and we would make the provision in terms of accommodation for you and give you any further instructions as needed but you can come anytime. This is a place, as you've seen a lot of people, a few people, including me, we've explained to you that this is a place where there's calm, there's love, you know, everything that Anastasia said, um, uh, focus, this is a place for it. So you're welcome to come, whoever asked that question. Um, let me see, uh, any more questions? Can you see any, Julie? Hello, guys. Uh, so, uh, the question was... Uh, Who's from the Italy? They want to know. Okay. My name, uh, who uh, doesn't know me, 
Uh, my name is uh, uh, Natalia Collada. Uh, I, uh, I am living in this house uh, more than three years now. Uh, now I uh, manage uh, manager of the house. I help. I, I call this that I help in this house to people that come in, so to feel like at home also. So and um, I'm very glad uh, to see everyone that is now at house, and we will very glad to see you when you will go, come and Pastor Sunday's house. So. We are waiting you. So, and you, if you have desire and something inside of you, uh, make uh, clip clicks. So, just uh, plan your travel here. Uh, write to guest dot uh, org, and we will wait you here. So, I uh, I am Ukrainian. Uh, uh, Ukraine is my motherland. Uh, I know Pastor Sunday about more than 20 years. So, and uh, I, I am a member of the Embassy Church, uh, Embassy of God Church. So, um, the question that Julia um, asked, yes, asked is why, uh, why she didn't see the people uh, from here around of Pastor Sunday, so um, in, the house, yeah. in the house, in the house, yeah. And uh, you know, um, uh, to answer this question, I just uh, um, just uh, come in the past a little bit, and I uh, want to tell that uh, you know many people in Ukraine. They didn't. Um, they know Pastor Sunday like Pastor somewhere in the stage, and you know many years the people they just was used like to accept Pastor Sunday like Pastor like leader, and he's somewhere you know there in the the, the stages. There is leaders in the church too high, too high. He's uh, you cannot touch him. So you cannot be close of uh, close uh, next to him somewhere. So and the people that like they they uh, was many years like growing and had this thought in their mind. But you know, Pastor Sunday, uh, he uh, after some times he recognized that people thinking was like that. But his desire, uh, he didn't want people uh, was feeling <coughs> and attitude to him like that. But people did these thoughts. Uh, so when Pastor Sunday uh, discovers discover that people think like that, that about like some high man and is far from them, he uh, he decide to open his house for anyone who wants to come and be, to know him because you know you can uh, you can hear uh, teachings of pastor sunday even you can read books of pastor sunday you can get many things from the books from the teachings you know and you can wow say wow 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 but um Another, another uh, thing is to know Pastor Sunday, to know him like like um, person, to know his how he's thinking, you know. And uh, uh, Pastor Sunday did something that nobody did in the church in the Christian world. He opened uh, the door of his own house. And say, come, come, everyone he, who wants to know me. So Pastor Sunday was so open to people. So he um, he understood that people, um, like, um, he has so much. Pastor Sunday has so much. And it is not only like knowledge, but like person. Like personality. He, 
uh, he, he built himself uh, and um, what is inside of him is very precious and but you cannot just catch this maybe from um, something that you read or just hearing teaching in the church because you can some picture of pastor Sunday in the uh, stage for example but here in the house you can see pastor Sunday like father like uh, like person in every uh, daily um, communication you can you can see the model of uh, family you can see the model of life how how pastor Sunday lives every day every hour because and when you see this model you know something change inside of you mm. and it's not uh, like um, as, uh, the Caroline said she said that you can see you know and there is something that you cannot catch from books you know the love of father you cannot catch from books you need personal uh, relationship so the personal relationship with pastor sunday to to see how he lives to ask him questions just to be here in this atmosphere it's something that you cannot catch from books and from the watching even video so this is why uh, it will be great if you will come. Um, for me personally, uh, my life totally was changed when I came and lived in this house three and a half year. It's totally changed. Um, uh, me, like personality. I am a believer from young years, so tw more than 20 years. But my life totally was changed when I start to have relationship with pastor, to have opportunity to, to see him in every day, every uh, day situation. situation, in every um, daily lifestyle. So, and you know, when you see Pastor Sunday every day, uh, many months, uh, <laughs> like, you know, like at home, Three years I like live in family of Pastor Sunday. So it cannot be changeable for you. And um, why people they didn't come and not, uh, they are not stay here? I think one of the reasons is they, they have, uh, they didn't know exactly what means to stay here, to be around of Pastor Sunday. They didn't understand what they can uh, catch and what they can receive through this. The second is maybe they don't, they don't know yet why they need this. You know, because the, when you have desire, but desire comes from somewhere. It's like... Uh, uh, when you have desire, can, nothing cannot stop you. So, and maybe for some reason you need to go through some crisis, I don't know. Uh, and of course, you need to have heart, um, heart that is um, honest, honest, teachable, hon uh, iskreni, yeah. uh, Sincere. So you are ready to 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 uh, study, to receive, to be ready for corrections, even because you know some people they are not now around of pastor because they don't want somebody correct them. They afraid this, you know. If they, you know, they they just afraid corrections, and they. Are close for this so they but how you can be changed if you are if you are not ready for corrections also so uh, and this is also is like people like afraid 
and maybe they don't do something right, you know, and oh, I will not be right. So, but don't be afraid to do mistake or to be corrected. If you will understand that it's for your good, so you will not be afraid like to be somewhere. It's like father, in, when you are in the family, uh, you know, there is some corrections, but maybe uh, our p background, we, uh, our, in our families, we like afraid something, but here you have like another atmosphere, atmosphere of love and even correction in this atmosphere, it will not hurt you. So we need to be free for correct, to receive corrections also. This is maybe is another reason. And of course, when you see some uh, some person all the time, all the time, and you have some picture, it's difficult to understand that you know. We, maybe we uh, start don't appreciate what we have. When you have, for example, when we have something all of our life, 20 years, Pastor Sunday in Ukraine is 20 years, <laughs> year by year, you know, and okay, he is here, he is here. So this is, uh, we need to be, uh, to be very sensitive to this. And maybe, you know, people like, um, just yeah, used, 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 yeah, used. Pastor is there, okay, if I will have need, I will come, he will pray. I will continue to live, you know, and this is, you know, just like, you know, he's like, um, like, doc like doctor, yeah, yeah, like parents even, you know, I have problem, I came, okay, and I go out, you know, but our parents, they have so, so many uh, wisdom, you know, and when we are child, when we are small, we, then we, uh, sometimes we didn't recognize and we didn't want to, to see how much, uh, you know, our parents have. So, and maybe, for example, uh, people didn't come because they, they, they cannot see the wisdom, the, this, the deeper wisdom that Pastor Sunday have. So, and of course, everyone choose. And everyone have decision to choose. And um, everyone um, take decisions. Of, and another one reason why people uh, are not around of Pastor Santa here in Ukraine, so they don't stay uh, like, for example, you stay guys here, that you came here, is because um, uh, I lost my thought now. Okay, let me yes. I have a yeah. Someone has a question. Yeah. He said, I want to come to soon, but I eat five times a day. <laughs> yes. Okay. But you, yeah, you eat five times a day. That's cool. You can eat ten times a day if you want. Here at house, everyone uh, have like freedom. For example, even now, uh, for some uh, some people, they just uh, go to have rest or have food, and after they will come back here. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I can uh, about food question. So mm -hmm. we will answer it. Uh, at house, we have place. Eating room, kitchen, stuff that preparing food for you. So, uh, and all the day they are there. Of course, we try to organize like uh, breakfast, lunch, uh, and uh, dinner. Uh, and you can have tea or coffee or some snacks or water or fruits. So, just uh, every time when you come, I ask, okay, what is your uh, wishes? Okay, what is, what uh, what are you eating? Maybe maybe you something don't eat. Uh, so we try.
for every person that is coming to do the best uh, so mm. it's like individual uh, to you meet know. your dietary requirement it's not problem okay yeah you can write you can write some something that you need or some questions you can all, always ask and we will answer and, and before you will come here you will know every information that you need to to have so uh, this is this thank you pastor natalia okay who else wants to share mrs Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming on. At, uh, you want a chair? You want a chair? Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, thank you for coming on to our um, lovely you. impromptu <laughs> <laughs> taping. Uh, so we are talking about how is you know Pastor Sunday's house and how are we seeing it uh for me the way i would describe it um as we were coming for my very first time i tend to see that it's a residential area that's what we call it in america um residential area that has beautiful buildings um it reminded me when i think of nigeria of a place that they commonly call um leki and uh, <laughs> yes beautiful gates um it's an automatic gate, you know. And so when you drive in, there's this just beautiful space and you can see the two buildings. That's how I would describe it. Uh, lovely with balconies. The colors are just beautiful. You have um, a yellow, you know, light yellow building and the other building is a light blue. And um, as you come in, you walk into what we call, uh, we call it courtyard. <laughs> It's a courtyard area that divides the two buildings from each other. It does not, I remember one of my friends, maybe she will come on now. She was asking me, she said, um, you know, is it like a hostel or something? I said, mm -mm, this, this looks like you're living in Paris, <laughs> like a Chate kind of place. You know, no, 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 it doesn't look like a hotel. The atmosphere environment is absolutely wonderful. It's peaceful. Um, the neighborhood is is great but out of um just for you guys to know it's pretty subtle but it's there there is security <laughs> but you don't feel the pressure of security because it's done very professionally uh the security people seem like people that have no been around no intimidation you don't even <laughs> even know that there's security but um i tell you uh, the information gets to the right people at the right time about anything i'm guessing and so there is that so there's no you don't have to worry anything about that um and i think that the whole atmosphere environment thing actually starts from when you're picked up from the airport like um our trip in uh, this time our flight our flight arrived at 4 a.m in the morning and uh family from my family from london were concerned that Am I sure that there's going to be somebody there by 4 a.m. in the morning? I said, mm, I tell you, the person will probably be there before 4 a.m. in the morning. So that's how the whole atmosphere of what you're going to get here actually starts from when they pick you up at the airport. Uh, the love, the excitement that they have in their heart. I mean, they don't really have a lot of expression of excitement, but you can tell by the questions that they ask you. Uh, you can ask questions because you might be feeling anxious and they just, you know, by the time they give an answer, by the time they discuss, you realize that they actually know about you, your communications, about when you are coming and this and that. They already know about that. And so you'll find yourself about calm even before you get to the house. Uh, when you get into the house, um, depending on what side you're living, if you're going to live in the VIP, you'll be taken there. And just like they said, there is the kitchen with people that cook all kinds of meals and they always make sure that you're fed if you eat at that kind of time of the day and all of that so there's just some um, so much love peace and christian behavior christian attitude christian characters 
uh, the values that we always wonder about. How do we live as Christians? Anyway, you know, you experience that as you come in. Um, they have a place um, after the courtyard. There is a place at the back there. And I remember it was used to do barbecue um, when they were making barbecue for us one of the times that we came. But it's sort of like a garden area. There's a beautiful tree that's blossoming right now over there. So that's a nice open space too. Uh, when you get in, if you remember where we do our HMT, the second building has the HMT, uh, I would call it like room, where we meet is there. The kitchen is also there. And then upstairs, of course, are the rooms. But you know what I found interesting coming here three times? Uh, so I've been to three different kinds of accommodations, maybe even more. <laughs> the, the styles of the room are so different, <laughs> absolutely unique. And as far as bathrooms and, and single toilets and all that, they are all provided on um, each floor. So there's, there's, there's not a feeling like, oh, you know, will I ever, you know, make it because there'll be someone in the bathroom. I've never even come across that. I mean, there's enough bathrooms, bathtubs, separate toilets and all that is available on each floor. And then the other thing was, I didn't realize that there were so many people in the house. The only thing that allows you to know that there's people in the house is that their slippers, you know, they put their slippers at the bottom of the staircase. So you look at all the shoes, you look at all the slippers and you're like, all these people are really living here. And so you don't know there's no noise. I mean, every now and then I've heard a couple of group prayer going on, but there's no senseless noise, you know, just noise for no reason. There's nothing like that. Um, the rooms are of good size. You have your study table in each room. You, you have a cupboard where you can hang your clothes up, put your shoes in and all the rest of it. A very good size bed, um, blankets, um, towels, you know. Um, in the bathroom, I like the, they have the heated um, towel hanger where you can put towels and have it uh, dry by the next morning or you know the next day for you everything is clean people are always coming in to clean the bathrooms um, they're always checking and making sure that everything is clean clear and if you have any questions you can always ask somebody or that we know about three people that we can text and ask them a quick question Another thing too is that when people come there, sort of anxious and like, will I, will I get to talk to Pastor Sunday? Can I have a one-on-one -on -one with Pastor Sunday? I tell you, once you book your appointment and you let any of the staff here know that you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, you will have your one-on-one -on -one with Pastor Sunday before you leave. So that's exciting to know. Um, you know, because everybody is coming in and sometimes we don't know each other, but it's amazing because we have the same desire. We that we, we listen to Pastor Sunday, he has enlightened us on many things about our Christian life, how to live the Christian life, to please God, to glorify God, to, to lift up his name, to let people know that, you know, Christians are just ordinary people. Just like they tell you, we, we worship the Almighty God because he's teaching us those principles. And we have a desire because we haven't found anybody to teach us in that way when we come here and we meet each other for the first time i wish that you were around maybe next time we'll do some recording of when we first meet each other but when we first meet you meet each other you would honestly think <laughs> that we have known each other before like we've seen each other but no it is that one purpose that one desire for us to truly walk this christian life in honor and in glory on the earth that just unites us together the fellowship is so beautiful. Um, this particular HMT, there were a few ladies, they were absolutely nervous. But at the same time they were nervous, they felt the peace, but then there was that unsure thing. And it's so nice to see all of us just telling each other, it's all right, we're in the right atmosphere, this is gonna be wonderful, it's gonna be challenging, but we're going to make it. So it's really a lovely place, and the best thing has been said is that you, if you really desire, you need to come. You know how some people desire to go to Jerusalem, you know, and some people have desire to go to Paris and London and all the rest of it. As a Christian, I would say, come here. It will show you how we Christians 
how we're supposed to live and how we're supposed to walk in our faith. So it's a great time. I've been absolutely blessed. Uh, I would say that if you can, if you're booking your flight for HMT, book a couple of days or four days after because that's when you really get to enjoy Pastor Sunday because he's now relaxed and he's doing some of maybe writing his book so you get to hear about the books that he's writing, how it's all set up, how it's written. You get to ask questions. You get to see him in his relaxed mood, you know, and um, you just get to know the real life of the home. Um, we get to see his children. Sometimes we see the daughters pass, um, going to school and if we see them, we give them a hug and then come back. We give them a hug. So you get to even see the daily uh, living in the home also. So see if you can book a couple of days after the HMT so you can really enjoy. Oh, weeks. Or even weeks. Oh, yes. Yes, weeks. You know, it, it would be a great thing. So that's what I have to add to it. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Timmy? Ah, well, I, I just recently just got here, so I don't have I don't have much to say. I've just been here for uh, a couple days. I'm um, I'm really blessed at the opportunity I have to be around uh, so many people who are focused and are uh, exploring their faith right now. Uh, while I've been here, I've uh, discovered myself to a whole other capacity. I've grown as an individual, even in my short time. I've also uh, thought of things and have uh, pushed myself uh, to start initiatives that I would have done before. So this is the blessed environment, and I do appreciate it very much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that, Jimmy, but good. I love that. Yes. So, hi, guys. Um, Alani, ask if you can get past Sunday's book available in ebook. Of course it is. Go to Amazon, Amazon.com or Amazon.co.uk. And if you're in Nigeria, you can go to Okada Books. I'll put a comment there. It will probably be on Julie's um, name, under Julie's name. So you will see the comment, Okada Books in Nigeria, or you can go on Amazon and you can get his books. Okay? So let me look at other yeah, questions. Uh, what are... We're ready. Yeah, Just we're ready. We're ready. We're ready. So, yes, I wish I knew DSA twenty years ago. Yeah. The twenty years immunity from religion and unwanted mistakes. Oh, Elizabeth, it's not too late. Pastor Natalia, somebody is saying hello. Thank God for this. Yes, like Jesus, Chinway was saying. DSA's house, his car, his life, his food, all he has is all for service and loving people. Amazing. That's in Kiru. Tatiana has joined us. Living like Jesus. Oh, Pastor Elizabeth Ali, yes. Said, I saw one of his cars painted with cross of Jesus. Yes, with Jesus on the cross. That's right. That's correct, Elizabeth. I think it's in a video as well that we did last week, so you guys can check that out. I think the title is Mode of Transportation, DSA Mode of Transportation. So you can check that on YouTube if you want to see the card that Elizabeth is talking about. Yes, in Gozi, that's true. Yes, living with Pastor Day, day out, day in is life-changing, absolutely. I can testify to that. Mm. Yes, Pastor Sunday is the father of all nations. So, yes, Ola Martin was saying what um, uh, Pastor Natalia is saying, that some people don't want correction. Yes? Yeah. Okay, so we're ready, 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 ready. Frank says, I love the wisdom of mom, Lola, Sharon, care. Okay. <laughs> Ebenezer said, when I come, I'll bring my chef, white, my chef white and be part of the place. Thanks. Okay. Okay, Ebenezer, bring your chef. We like eating. I like eating. Oh, Joy says, it looks like heaven on earth. Haven't been there, but I feel it in my spirit. 
to be with people who share the same idea, believe under Jesus Christ to me, to me is like living in heaven here on earth. Yes. Probably heaven is like this. Okay, let's continue. Yes, it is possible to visit. Okay, the question is, is it possible to visit um, not during HMT at any time without HMT on? And the answer is yes. So that's a resounding yes. You can visit anytime. Just write to guest at godembassy.org. So whenever you want to come, write to us at guest at godembassy.org. Okay. Uh, let's see. Any more comments? Rachel, Rachel said that Caroline's mom explained it beautiful. Can't wait to come. Yes. Okay. Right. That's it. So let's. Julie has to repeat that question. Julie. Again. Okay. So the next question is why do people who live in this house not. Um, why are they not around you all the time? Or as often as you're available. Especially people in Ukraine in the house. Why, why? You have to tell us the foundation for the question. Okay. Well, I'm asking this question because I know that there are a lot of people who live here, as you know, and as everyone here has described. So, um, but I don't see those people here. I don't see them around Pastor Sunday when he's available and when he's um, able to fellowship and when uh, you are able to learn from him and ask him the questions that you want or get advice. No, I'm always with at least 10 people every time. Always with people, 10, 15, 20 people all the time. Yeah. But compared, you are, you are talking compared to the amount of people living in the house yes. in general. Yes. So if we have 50 people in the house, why just 10 people here, exactly. right? Exactly, okay. exactly. Or if we have uh, 20 people, 20 Russians, why only five, five. You know, five yeah. or Ten for foreigners. Well, or, but could you help with the question mm -hmm. or ask more? Because I'm never alone, really. Yeah. yeah, I think the question, as Julie have asked, is we have so many people here in this house that lives here, but the a consistent number of people that are with Dr. Sunday every time. So the rest of the people, why are they not here also? Because it's an open door. No, consistent people, but different. Different people, different yeah. people yeah, at times, actually. Yeah, consistent yeah. Same. same people. Okay, that's true. That's true. We have sets of people that comes and spend different time. People, not, not, but not everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's the question that we're wondering, because I've been here for over two months now, and I know there's so many people in this house, and a lot of them, I don't see them at all. Or when I do see them, like I said earlier, is in the kitchen area or stairs, and why they don't come and sit here with Dr. Sunday at least half of the day, you know, and they just do their own thing where they live in his house. So that's well, a little bit strange. Russians, isn't it? Yeah, no, and Russians English people as well. Yeah. And the, the other, yeah. the rest who are non Russians yes. who live here. Yeah. yeah. It's both Russians and non Russians, so um, I think they're both guilty. Not just Russians. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> so we want the answer to that. Hello, everyone. Just got back home from grocery shopping. Innocent. Why groceries? Don't eat. You have to be here. We will watch later. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what I mean is love you all. Love you too, Innocent. Okay. Let's go back to that. Okay. So, uh, why are people not here? First of all, I've already explained to you why did I build a house that allows everybody to come and stay? And uh, why should I build a house with 60, 60 rooms? And then what do I, like uh, 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 Sharice asked, is, it, is there any condition, any requirement for people to come and stay in my house? I said, first of all, they need, I just need them to have the desire. 
and the passion, the hunger, and the desperation. But when people get here and they begin to live here, you discover that they have many other things in their head that is getting them busy, or other things that they want to do. You know, people uh, lose focus. That's uh, one problem with people. Maybe they start well, but then they just want to enjoy the house itself. Rather, they, but they don't know that what they could get from Pastor Sunday is more than just living in the house. Pastor Sun, whatever is coming out from Pastor Sunday's mouth is more important than what they can give them. So, you know, a lot of people enjoy the blessing or prefer the blessing than the blessing, blessing giver. The same with God. You know, God also gives blessing to people, but even some people will go to church just to look for the blessings of God rather than to look for uh, the rest of, to look for God himself, who is a blessing giver. So uh, I discovered that the same thing here. People are more uh, interested in what Pastor Sunday has and what he can give than, as a, you know, than Pastor Sunday himself. So, uh, but when, what, when, but when, uh, if we talk about people who are members of the church here, a lot of them think that uh, they have, they keep on hearing from Pastor Sunday and learning, and they have too much not to knowledge, or they know too much, but they go, don't have time to do everything. So many of them are just afraid of coming to keep on learning new things because they are afraid that all these new things that they are learning, that they don't have the time or they won't have the time to practice them. That is one factor. The second factor is because people who are here also, also have their own calling and their own uh, priorities and since I give freedom and I tell people to pursue their calling first not me make the, their focus but they must be their own focus they should do what they think is important for them first so because I don't make them to do what I want but I just give them the freedom so to be here with me all the time is an opportunity for them but if they feel that they are going to be busy or they have other things that they want to do so that's another reason why people are not here. Then the other reason is because even though people are here in the house all the time, but every day somebody else go a week, somebody goes for solitude, another person might come out, another person might go. So they are not they cannot always be here because they now know, you know, they need to, you know, do other things. Or they need to go and do their own ministry or they need to go and do solitude. Even though they might want to be here but they Okay, then the people who are working here in the house, some of them need to serve you. Some of them need to help, you know, people, other people who are visiting. So even though they might want to be here, but because they need to do what they need to do for the ministry and the and whatever their job is to go on, so they might not be here also. Uh, other people that might be living in the house, uh, some people are afraid that if they are going to be here all the time that I encourage everybody to speak and to share some people are afraid that whenever they make mistake I don't keep quiet mm -hmm. anybody that makes a mistake in my presence I try to correct the people because I think it's an opportunity to learn for everybody mm -hmm. some people are afraid of that mm -hmm. they don't want to be embarrassed or they don't but they, I think there are a few people more like that, more new people. Uh, but those things I said are probably the most important thing. Then other people might think, uh, Pastor Sunday, I know him already. And that is my biggest uh, assets and resource. He knows me. They just want me to, to make sure that I know them. They know me. And since I know them, whenever they have any problem, they could always... They have access. They just needed that freedom. The access that pastor knows me. If I call him or if I write, he recognizes me. So anything I would need, I always have him. So people just have it that he's there. So he knows me. I can always get to him. 
for people, for some people, that is the most important thing. They don't need to come when they don't need anything mm. right now. Uh, they want to come only when they need something. That's how people are sometimes. Um, other people, um, yeah, other people think that they will listen to Pastor Sunday maybe once a week or twice a week and well, come and listen. And that is enough for them like <clears throat> for one month or for two months. Mm. <laughs> so different things in people's mind, I think. I don't know if I answer your question. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you answered my question. Thank you. Well, you need to ask me a question too. Yeah. <clears throat> They're just comments. You want to read them now? I, um, I have, oh, there are comments. Hold on. Guys. T.Y. says, I can't understand that one. Terrified of making mistake in front. Oh, I can. T.Y. says, understand that one. Terrified of making mistakes in front of DSA. Justin said, T.Y. said, uh, at T.Y., me too. <laughs> yes. God bless you all. Uh, Nikki said, Whenever I get to DSA, I send messages around to alert me as soon as DSA is at the VIP, the meeting room. I can't miss those opportunity. Yes, that's true. True. Uh, can you share, please, guys? Uh, then we have. Let's see. Most of the occupants, that's Olu, Olu Kayo, they said. Most of the occupants live there regularly anyway, but you are there for a short while and for that specific purpose. So I think Ekudaya is saying that's the reason why we're here. Um, no, I think it's the reasons that Dr. Sunday gave were the... No, that's why people don't always come. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Any more comments coming? Nope. Yeah, that's a good time to spend more than one hour already. Yes, yes. So, guys, share this. I hope this has been a useful session for you. We get this all the time. So, um, mm -hmm. this is just one that I just decided to film. And we, we do this sometimes in the car as well. But because there's no Wi-Fi in the car, so I don't stream it, I've got lots of videos that I could share if I want. Ha, 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 ha. But I might not share Yes, I will share it. I will share it. And then some people are putting their thumbs up, so I'll share it. So, guys, I hope you join us again. We'll be back. Either myself or Caroline will definitely be back to say hi to you with our vlog. So this is our vlog for this evening. I'm not sure if anything is going to happen. If it does happen, I sure would alert you. So have a good evening, good morning, good night. And we'll see you again soon. So check out YouTube, Sunday Adelaja Official. And his blog is sundayadelajablog.com. And you know you're on Facebook. So that's Dr. Sunday Adelaja. See you guys. Bye. Bye from everyone. Bye. <laughs>